Hey guys, so a classmate asked, what is the Chatier's principle and how does it relate to equilibrium reactions? To begin, let's first understand what is Le Chatier's principle. This principle is named after Henry Louis Le Chatier, a French chemist who devised this concept as a way to predict the effect a change in condition has in a system in equilibrium. Essentially, Le Chatier stated that when an equilibrium reaction is subject to such a change, a counteracting change takes place towards a new equilibrium state in the direction that offsets the change. There are three main factors that can affect a reaction in equilibrium the concentration of reactants or products, reaction volume or pressure, and temperature. For our first factor, we are dealing with changes in concentration of either the products or the reactants, which occur when removing or adding such substances. Increasing the concentration of any substance, regardless of it being a reactant or product, will cause a re-establishment of equilibrium in a direction that relieves stress, thereby shifting in the opposite direction. So in this example, if there is an increase in the concentration of A, then the reaction shifts to the right, with the same shift occurring and an increase in the concentration of B. Yet, an increase in the concentration of AB will cause a shift to the left, again away from where the stress occurs in order to relieve it. The opposite is true for a decrease in such concentrations. You can think of the removal of such concentrations as creating a hole that must be filled by the reaction. Therefore, instead of shifting away from the change, the reaction shifts towards it in order to fill in this new hole. Therefore, a decrease in either concentration of A or B will cause a shift to the left, where the new hole occurs. While a decrease in AB will cause a shift to the right, again to fill these holes up. The second factor, reaction volume and pressure, deals with the relationship between volume and pressure, as we understand from gas laws. Recalling Boyle's law, we know that pressure and volume have an inversely proportional relationship, meaning that an increase in pressure decreases volume, and vice versa. This second factor deals primarily with changes to our system, usually a change in the volume of the reaction container and how that affects the equilibrium reaction. For example, if our equilibrium reaction were to occur in a closed container and the volume of the container were to be reduced, we know that the pressure within the container would increase. But our chemical equation doesn't represent pressure, so how can we relate it to a shift in direction? Well, we need to call in on another law from ideal gas theory, mainly Avogadro's, that states that pressure and moles have a directly proportional relationship. Since we can represent moles in our chemical reaction through coefficients, then we can see the shifts. Therefore, a decrease in volume leads to an increase in pressure and an increase in moles. So the final change to our system is an increase in moles. And in order to relieve the stress, we need to shift away from the side of the reaction with more moles, which is the product side. So we shift to the left. Now, in a different scenario where the volume of our container increases, we know that the pressure decreases, causing a decrease in moles. Again, a decrease causes a hole which we want to fill, so we move to the side with more moles, namely the product side. Our third and final factor has to do with temperature, and this is in relation to exothermic and endothermic reactions. In an exothermic reaction, heat is released, so heat will show up in the product side, which can be represented in a reaction like this. If temperature were to be decreased in our system for an exothermic reaction, the reaction will shift to the right, producing more heat to counteract this loss in heat. On the other hand, if temperature were to be increased in our system, the reaction will shift to the left away from the heat. Since endothermic reactions gain energy during a reaction, heat is present in the reactant side. And so, in these conditions, the opposite shifts occur due to changes in temperature. However, the logic behind these shifts is still the same. I hope this video helped you to understand Le Chatier's principle and its role in equilibrium reactions.